Josh Stevenson here with blueribbonbait.com. Today we're going to talk about the beaver bait. The beaver bait, um, I always start off with the first thing you do with a beaver bait is put a weight in it because all the fish I've caught have been while it's weighted. So you get the old screw and weight. They work on phantom baits too. Screw the weight in there. I got the heaviest one possible. And I got to tell you the story. The first time I ever saw this, I was like, well, is this thing really going to work? I didn't jump on it right away, but the, the owner of the company, Brian came out and met me on the river and the first fish I ever caught on it was a 51 inch fish in about the first two hours of using it so obviously I'm totally hooked on it and that was a uh, several years back now but it is a heck of a good bait uh, two of the 50 inches we caught last last guide season were on this bait um, if people knew how good it was I think we'd sell a lot more of them the most common thing asked about it is how to use it so I'm just going to give you my take on it Cast her out. You can fish it like this. I've seen people twitching it up like this and catching fish. I've had certain clients with me that they prefer this method. It's easier on them. It's... And then there's another way of fishing it where I've seen people get ways and just letting it swim along. But anybody who's been with me and in the guide boat with me knows how I use them all the time. And that's the same thing every time. Cast it out in big sweeps. Catch up that line in between. I move it fast. Seems like a lot of times when you're using it and you're moving it slower, you'll get the fish to follow it and look at it almost like it kind of is like a fly, especially if it's unweighted. The fly fishing guide trips I've done over the years, those fly fishermen will always raise muskies even if they're not extremely active, but it's, it's really neat watching them follow it. And this beaver bait unweighted, I've, often does that but I'm not interested in following fish I'm looking for a fish to eat it and grab it so the depth and speed of this lure is the most important thing to focus on so I'm moving it quick this is how I get them it's just that simple when I was a young kid growing up fishing in another guide's boat and they were catching fish and I wasn't I would just look at their method and see what they're doing and copy it and that's what I want you guys to do because this this is how I've caught all the fish on the beaver See this powerful. I want them to know it's here. It's swimming through. Get it to the boat, get your rod tipped down, figure eight it, get that tail flapping. But it's a heck of a lot easier to get them to bite it when it's out there than worrying about a figure eight on this bait. Often I'll get it in the first three pumps, I'll get a fish to eat it. And it's easy to use in a lot of lakes that are, you know, I'd guide in the Twin Cities and in the Mille Lacs and so forth, but a lot of the lakes can get choked out with weeds and this bait, depending on how you weight it, will stay above a lot of the milfoil. And if you only got a couple feet to work with, this is a, a really good bait to have in your arsenal. And like I said, there's days where they're not looking at anything at all and they will come up and eat this bait. The creature bait. AKA the creature bait, he calls it the beaver bait. It's a heck of a bait.